Hello, and welcome to the very first Luli Lens tutorial ever. I'm Luli, and I'm going to teach you how to touch up uh, fingertips, basically. We're going to look at fingernails and then the skin around it. So, uh, as you can see with this image, fingernails are very important. I mean, her hand is taking up half of her face, so we better get the fingertips right. Uh, everything about this image is retouched, aside from her fingertips, uh, just for this tutorial. Thank you, Fabiana, for letting me use this image. Don't worry, I'll also credit you properly in the description. But uh, because of our time constraint, I'm only going to be touching up one nail. Um, because if I were to try to do all of them, I don't think I'd be able to do them as well or go in as much detail as I'd like. So it's best we just get going because we really don't have a lot of time. So we're going to go to the Layers panel. Um, I think it comes with the Adobe default layout, but just in case, go to Window, Layers, or F7 apparently. And then you're going to make a new uh, layer folder. I'm going to call it uh, Nails. And then we're going to make a layer, a new layer. Um, and then we're going to take the Smudge tool make it strength 66%, sample all layers, incredibly soft brush, all the way to softness, 0% hardness, and the size is 108 pixels, but it, that's going to change per uh, image, depending on what you're working with. And then we're just going to take an area of the nail that we like, and we're just going to smooth it out in the direction that you'd like the nail to go. It's okay if it goes over the edges because we're going to be clipping out the parts that we don't want later on. You can make it longer if you like as well. You know, some people really like long nails, so now you can do it for all your images. Just, you know, make it a little bigger, longer. And then maybe help that highlight a little more. Make it, yeah, good enough. And then we're going to make another layer and we're going to paint on, quite literally, highlights and shadows. So we're going to make another layer and we're going to fill it with a, a neutral gray. So we're going to go edit, fill. Contents use 50% gray. Blending mode, normal, 100% opacity, and press OK. And then you're going to go to the layer panel, and we're going to make it soft light mode. And now with our brush, you're going to make the color white, make the opacity really low, like 4% is perfect, uh, incredibly soft, and pretty small, about the width of the highlight actually. And then we're gonna just, you know, brighten up the area around the highlight, you know, just extend the highlight basically. And make the area around it a little brighter. Um, the area close to the base of the nail doesn't have quite as much of a contour to it because it's the base, you know, it's a little flatter. So we don't want as much as a of a highlight down there. So once you're done with the highlight and you're happy with the highlight part of the image, then you move on to the shadows. Uh, first, I'll show you what I just did with the highlights. See, see, I take it away and I bring it back. Take it away and I bring it back. And now we're gonna put on the shadows. So we're gonna make the brush black, but everything else is the same. And we're just going around the end and at the base kind of just take away some of that highlight at the base over there and make the edges darker. But this is looking pretty good. I like this right now. So I'm going to completely hide the nails layer and bring it back so you see what's going on. Now might as well collapse the nails folder because we don't want to mess with those layers anymore. And now we're going to want to clip the extra bits so that 
it fits where the nail was before. So we're going to make a new layer mask by clicking the circle in a square. See it says add layer mask. Click that. And you see that there's a white you know, layer in there, white mask. And white means that it reveals whatever was uh, whatever the mask was applied to. So obviously it looks the exact same from before we did the layer mask to now because everything's white. But see now if I take my black brush and I make the opacity 100% and I select the mask and I cut through it, you see that it now hides what the layer mask was applied to and it now reveals what was below it which was the background and that's what we're trying to do around the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and undo what I just did and go back to when I just made the layer mask with the history panel. And I'm going to, well since I want to go around the edges of the nail, I'm going to have to see where I'm going. So I'm going to lower the opacity of the entire folder to 50%. And now I can see what I'm getting rid of, yet where it still is at the same time. It's great. So in I'm going to just adjust my brush to make it a little less hard. Let's make it around 30%. 35 is good. Hardness. And then we're going to go and just clean up the tip. I'm actually going to extend the nail just a little bit to get rid of that chipped look. And, you know, longer nails are just nice. Yeah. And even if there isn't anything to clip, be sure to to still erase it anyway to get rid of it because after this we're going to go and we're going to fix the skin around the nail and we don't want anything that shouldn't be there to be on top of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the opacity of the group 100% and we see how you know I just clipped a little too much over there so I'm going to go again with white and reveal what was there before. and make sure everything is nice. Now I'm going to fix the the tip of her nail and since those are usually quite a hard edge I'm going to make the hardness of my brush bigger to like 60 percent and just make that nice and crisp and then I'm going to move on to the skin underneath. I can't be too picky because we're running out of time. Okay. Make another layer and move it to underneath the group layer. So now it's sandwiched between what we just did, the nails, and the background. See? It's right in between there. And then we're going to go with um, with the clone tool. Opacity is around 20% very soft brush, pretty small as well, just very small, and make it sample all layers. And now we're just going to press Alt to choose where we're copying from. And then you just go over the edge of our nails. And it's important to constantly change where you're sourcing from because you don't want someone to be able to see a pattern in your work. That's not good. If someone can tell that it's been edited, you went too far. And then, you know, just until you like it, you get the idea. And now, you can see what I did. See, I just touched up the skin around her nails. It looks smoother, cleaner. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to take the nails folder and the skin underneath it, group them together, and put them in a whole new layer folder. And now we can see the before and the after. Let's zoom in again for that one nail. Before and after. And there you go. That's how you touch up your nails. I'm sure you'll do a much better job if you've got more time on it, but uh, yeah, I hope you liked my tutorial. Feel free to comment uh, with suggestions for future tutorials as well, as well as uh, helpful criticism. So thank you and uh, enjoy.